Amy from Evanescence, and you're watching our acoustic performance on AOL Sessions. We hope you like it. I'm very excited to be here doing this for AOL. We're incorporating the cello into it, and Amy's playing piano and through entire songs that don't have piano on the record. You know, they have piano starting or in the middle or whatever. It's just a more classical, I guess, viewpoint of what we do, and breaking it down to a totally different level. I like to rock. I don't know, this is a really nice change. It's always fun to do something a little different. We created almost this, like, chamber music way of doing these songs that on the record are like these huge rock production so at first it was a little bit intimidating to kind of see if we could make them work in this more intimate format but it's it's been awesome don't cry to me if you loved me you would be here with me a lot of fans think that she's extremely dramatic and always you know dark and depressed and all that kind of thing but she's actually a really big dork she's like always like cracking up and making fun of herself and laughing at herself hit it <laughs> amy is a classically trained pianist she's just captivating her vocals are so strong and her piano playing is so strong it's it's really beautiful to watch and you know i've seen her play these songs a little lot of times you know but Every time it's like, God dang, that girl can sing, man. She's she's pretty awesome. <laughs> Can't keep believing we're only deceiving. We really got lucky. I don't know how it works and how success really happens other than I just do my best and work really hard. I love my music, but it definitely consumes my life. I mean if I had it my way, I would just play music all the time and write music all the time and record music all the time. And skip a lot of the other stuff, but I mean, I don't know, this is really cool, and I love the setup, I love the cello, it's, it's fun, I feel like a real musician, I'm really like using my brain. I kind of always felt that Evanescence was going to do well, the music always spoke to people. Even when it was in its early demoing stages, a few people would get a hold of a disc or something and then they'd just go crazy about it. And it's just these small little discs that were recorded at home on the computer, you know? I, I just knew. I was like, this is gonna be, it's gonna be big. So I didn't realize it'd be this big, but I'm not totally surprised, you know? Awesome, Amy. Alright guys, thanks for watching our AOL music sessions. We hope to see you again soon.